Marcy Walker is a familiar face in the soap world. She started out on All My Children as the scheming yet vulnerable Liza Colby. I said, what are you, what are you talking about? Talking about the affair that you're having with my mother? Do you know what you're saying? You see, all the pieces started to fit. She was also a fan favorite on Santa Barbara. This time she portrayed Eden Capwell, whose character was romantically involved with Cruz Castillo. Cruz, you are the love of my life. Together, they were Santa Barbara's super couple. Walker also appeared in several movies. In 2005, she left acting behind. Keep watching to take a look back at Walker's acting career and find out why she left show business. Marcy Walker's portrayal of the conniving Liza Colby was very popular among fans of All My Children. She joined the soap in 1982. You know what? Pull back, Junior. Because I've been jousting with the masterses before you could drive. You don't get me quaking on your most cold-blooded day. Oh, did you just toss me a challenge? Marcy left All My Children in 1984 after two years on the show. She then joined the cast of Santa Barbara, which was a new soap at the time. But I can't live without you. And whoever gets hurt, I'm sorry, but I will do anything you want me to. It can be in secret if you want, or I'll leave Kirk if, if that's what you want. Her character, Eden Capwell, and Eden's love interest, Cruz Castillo, were a huge hit with fans. Initially, the soap's writers wanted to create a love story between Eden and another character. But Walker and A. Martinez, who portrayed Cruz, said their characters should be paired together because of the on-screen chemistry between the two actors. Eventually, the writers agreed. I prayed for this. And please don't tell me that I don't matter to you anymore. I think telling you that was the hardest thing I ever did in my life. She remained on Santa Barbara for seven years. Then in 1993, Walker was cast as a reporter named Tangie Hill on Guiding Light. Nice to hear you laugh. Well, it's good to laugh again. Marcy stayed with the soap for two years. She was involved in many other projects during her years as a soap actress. In 1980, she made a guest appearance in the drama series Great Performances. In 1985, she appeared in the movie Hot Resort, a comedy about young guys who were trying to form relationships in order to get a job at a hotel resort in the Caribbean. Uh, I would like to formally introduce my friend Liza French to you. Three years later, she portrayed Caitlin Jones in the Western, The Return of Desperado. Does he know that you're after him? In 1990, Marcy appeared in two made-for-TV movies, Perry Mason, The Case of the Desperate you Deception. You came in to cry about my mother. And the drama, Babies. What are you saying? I'm just saying that, you know, that I think it's important that we remember that we're not dealing with a fully formed human being here. That same year, Marcy appeared in Bar Girls, a pilot for a crime drama series. That series never made it off the ground. Shelly, sit down. You can't keep losing it like this in court. In 1991, she appeared in eight episodes of Palace Guard. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you. I told you to stay back there. I'm the boss, you knucklehead. I give the orders, you do what I say. It was an action drama series. Then in 1992, Marcy appeared in the horror thriller, Midnight's Child. And the thriller, Overexposed. I saw her with Norm. She was all over it. A year later, she appeared in the action drama, Nick's Game. Then in 1994, she starred in the comedy drama romance, Talking About Sex. By experiencing the past in the present, you're able to release the future. In other words, you're reborn. Being born once was enough for me. In 1995, she appeared in the drama thriller, Terror in the Shadows. I'm his mother. I am his real mother. I've come
come to take my son. Marcy's final movie role was in 1996 in the drama thriller Sudden Terror, the hijacking of School Bus 17. No, I'm in charge now. Marcy returned to the soap All My Children in 1995. Burn up the airwaves. Not gonna happen. Yes, it is gonna happen. Yes, it is gonna happen. You know why it's gonna happen? Because I get what I want. Her character Liza Colby was back in town to stir things up with her former flame Tad Martin, who by then was married. What? We're not arguing about this garbage, are we? <laughs> well, then what are we arguing about? Marcy left all my children for good in 2004. I'm gonna miss you very much. It was a wild and wonderful ride, and I would have not traded it for anything. Me neither. She said at the time that in spite of all her fame and success, she felt something was missing from her life and craved for so much more. Then an opportunity came along that changed her life. She was asked to teach Sunday school at a church in Connecticut. Marcy accepted the position and found a new purpose. Then in 2005, Marcy landed a position as a youth minister at Lake Forest Community Church in Cornelius, North Carolina, where she currently lives with her husband, Doug Smith. She now uses her married name and is known as Marcy Smith. From actress to youth minister, Marcy has had quite a transformation. Thank you for watching our video. If you like what you saw, feel free to subscribe.